Hi, when it comes to sending and receiving data to an Arduino, there's quite a lot of choices of different interface available. So obviously you've got the USB serial connection, which is how you normally upload new sketches onto the device. You might also have an Ethernet shield or a Wi-Fi module, or there are various um, radio communication modules, so RF modules and things like that as well. One thing I've not really looked at much in the past is Bluetooth. So in this video, I want to look at this uh, HC05 Bluetooth transceiver module. So a transceiver is both a transmitter and a receiver in one unit. So it's capable of sending and receiving uh, Bluetooth messages. And I've also got a little LED here, which I'm just going to use to demonstrate how it works. Now, there's quite a few different Bluetooth libraries available, an example code of how to use it. Um, but one which I've just discovered, which is a bit different from the others, is something called uh, Blue Display. So that's what I want to, to show in this video. And in common with um, a lot of Bluetooth software, it uh, involves interfacing with a mobile phone. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my uh, mobile on. And then if I share my screen with you, there we go. So you can obviously see what I'm looking at here. So I've got my HCA5 connected, and what I'm going to do is I'm first of all I'm just going to go to my connections page on my phone, go to Bluetooth, and you'll see at the bottom there I've got available devices HC05. So I'm going to try and pair with the device here. Now if I hold that up close, you can see at the moment it's currently got a fast blinking flashing LED on the HC05 module itself. And that shows the state of the uh, device. So I just flipped my orientation right there. So first of all, I'm going to pair with it. The default pairing code is one, two, three, four, and I haven't changed that. So I'm just, I'm now paired with the device. And having done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the blue display app on my phone. So you can see I've got a, a little screen and it just says start and a red dot. Uh, first, oh, hang on, first of all, I need to select a device. So I'm going to select the HCO file, which I've just paired with. And uh, now let's try that again. So if I press start here, you'll see I can start the LED flashing via my mobile phone. And I can stop it again and start it. So that's, that large LED there is being completely controlled via the app. Now what's interesting about this though, and why I said this library is different from other things, is not only is the message to start the LED um, blinking and stopping sent from my phone but actually the entire interface that I'm seeing on my phone handset was delivered via Bluetooth from the Arduino here. So the Arduino sketch itself um, not only defines the behavior of the LED but it actually defines the entire interface that you can see here on my phone. Now I mean it's it's relatively basic you can see it just has a, a simple button uh, some fairly garish primary colours. But I actually think that's really in interesting to be able to define on an Arduino the code that you see on an Android device or other mobile like that so that when you update the, the code here you can update the entire user interface that someone is using via a phone. So here's how I've got that wired up and it does look a little bit more complicated than simply plugging the sensor directly into the Arduino. And the reason is to do with voltage levels. So I've spoken a little in the past about how some devices uh, use 5 volt logic and some devices use 3.3 volt logic. So most Arduinos, for example, operate at 5 volt logic. So uh, all these GPIO pins here, if you write a high signal to them, will be at 5 volts relative to ground. And likewise, if you have an input coming into one of these signals, uh, it can be up to 5 volts input. But some devices operate at 3.3 volt logic instead, so ESP32s, for example, and some sensors like the e-paper display I used recently. Now, the HC05 module is, is uh, kind of peculiarly somewhere in between. So in terms of the power supply that needs to be supplied on the VCC line, that can be anywhere between 3.6 volts and 6 volts. So here I've got the 5 volt line and the ground line here supplying this rail at the bottom and I've got VCC on the module directly connected to 5 volts and ground to ground. 
But in terms of the logic levels on the transmit and receive lines, well, they need to be at 3.3 volts on the module. Now, in terms of the transmit, so when the HCO5 transmits at 3.3 volts, well, the Arduino will still interpret that as a high signal. That's uh, Although it's not as high as 5 volts, it's above the threshold which Arduino will receive as a high input. So the line out, the transmit from the HC5 to the Arduino, can just be direct. That's fine. But when the Arduino transmits to the Bluetooth module, this is transmitting at 5 volts. But uh, this will, I mean, burn out your module pretty quickly if you try to receive at 5 volts. So we need to drop it down to 3.3 volts. And the way we do that is uh, what's called a voltage divider circuit. So I've got these two resistors here. In fact, if I just move this wire out of the way so you can properly see this. The, this is a uh, 1 kilo ohm resistor and this is a 2 kilo ohm resistor. So this is going to divide the voltage that's coming in this 5 volt voltage here that's going from 5 volts to 0 we're going to lose a third of it over this resistor and two thirds over this resistor so if we um, read the signal in between that division there we'll get the 3.3 volts that the module requires so that's what's going on there so it's slightly more complicated than just simply being able to connect uh, pin to pin but it's not too bad and up here I've got my LED, this is just to, to demonstrate the, the circuit here. So I've got that wire to pin 13 and to ground via a 220 ohm resistor here. So this is just a current limiting resistor on the LED. Um, and that's it. In terms of the Arduino code, I'm really just running one of the example sketches that comes with the Blue Display library. Now, uh, like I say, what's really interesting about this is the Arduino code itself defines both the behavior that's running on the Arduino and also the GUI that's running on the uh, connected Bluetooth device. So um, it's relatively complex, but this is the, the simplest example that comes to the library. Uh, so I just wanted to point out a few things. Obviously you include the Blue Display library itself and you uh, define the connection speed to the HCO5 interface. And then uh, in the setup function, so what happens here, this is the, the key function here, so it's the end of setup, having uh, made the serial connection to the Bluetooth interface, it calls this init communication method to start communication with Bluetooth, but also registers these two functions here, the initialization function and also the kind of ongoing draw GUI function. Those are at the end of the code here, so the initialized display um, sets some uh, sort of flags that tell it what size display it's going to clear on and how it's going to behave. And then we also um, initialize a button and we place that in the middle of the screen. So we work out the display, the total width of the display and the width of the button divided by two and then we place it in the middle. So it's kind of centered basically. And then we also register some functions to do with that button. Um, so there's, there's quite a lot of different arguments going on there. Um, and then in the uh, the GUI, in the draw GUI, uh, we clear the display and we draw the button itself. So these kind of methods here will look sort of vaguely familiar to you if you're used to handling uh, GUI programming in something like the .NET framework or in Unity or something like that perhaps. They might not be so familiar if you're more used to Arduino programming, which generally speaking doesn't worry about kind of UI elements and things like that. Um, but in the, in the loop function itself, uh, we've got now we're looking, so this is what's confusing. This is now looking at back on the Arduino. What we do is we turn the LED on or off, depending on whether uh, we're currently blinking or not. But then we also update the display that is being sent to the uh, connected Bluetooth device. So the code itself is, uh, you know, a little bit tricky. You do need to study it for a while to really get your head around it. But I just thought that was a really uh, interesting example of Bluetooth that I hadn't seen before. Rather than just handling the data packets, it's actually sending the entire client uh, code and UI to the connected device via Bluetooth. Uh, so that's just a, an interesting example. But I'm sure there's uh, lots of other things you can think of that you could do with uh, Bluetooth connection to an Arduino.